Welcome back to Triple R. Today I wanted to talk about and review the NES version of the game Super Sprint, which may be one of my favorite NES games the more I think about it. Super Sprint was originally an arcade game made by Atari. The arcade used steering wheels and pedals to control your car, but we're not here to talk about that version. We're here to talk about, in my opinion, the better version, which is the NES Tension port released in 1989. The few drawbacks to the port were you could only play two players instead of three, a few less tracks, and the graphics were slightly worse looking. But the game doesn't look bad at all. The tracks are gray, so it gets a green background, giving it a nice summer day at the racetrack feel. So let's talk about the gameplay. What matters most about a video game is how it plays, how much fun it is to play. And Super Sprint on the NES is a lot of fun. The controls are tight, the engine sounds are good, along with a nice sense of speed as you race around the track. During the races, you will encounter random obstacles such as oil spots, water, opening and closing barriers, and a tornado. Most of these either slow your car down or make you spin out of control. If you hit a wall too fast, your car will blow up and you will have to wait for it to respawn to continue the race, losing valuable time. The game also has an upgrade system where you pick up these gold wrenches that appear randomly around the track. Once you obtain two wrenches, you can then upgrade your car by a point in one of four categories, top speed, acceleration, traction, or score. There are seven tracks to race and all of them are unique and have a different feel from one another. Some have shortcuts you can take with a bit of risk, like if you miss time a barrier and it closes. I will say the amount of frustration you feel when you do lose control and you keep bumping the car over and over again against the wall is very, very real. But hey, who told you to take a shortcut? In conclusion, Super Sprint, the NES version, is a great game with a lot of replay value. Since the tracks just loop, you can just see how far you can go each play. If you're looking for a solid top-down racer, you'll find it here. I give the NES Super Sprint an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.